Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Valentine's Day set and I'm also going to be using paper forms. I've never done that on my channel before so I'm going to be showing you kind of the ins and out of using them and I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks. So just a really quick nail review. There are four ways to apply poly gel. One way is an overlay which is where you don't add length to your nails. You just apply poly gel over your nails. The next way is by dual forms which I have a video, a very detailed video about how to use dual forms if you're interested. Then there's plastic tips. These are half tips, but full cover tips are also a way to extend the length. And then there's paper forms. I'm gonna show you how I use paper forms with poly gel. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I am keeping the prepping process in this video. First, you wanna buff up the nails. You wanna put some scratches in it and also remove any dead tissue around the cuticle area. And I'm going to do that with my e-file, but you can totally do that with a hand file. To get around my cuticle, I'll be using this Kiara Sky cuticle clean bit. And then I'll be using a sanding band to put some scratches in the nail after. What? Oh man. I just realized that my hand piece is acting up. It fell a few moments ago before I started filming and it must have fell wrong. It must have hit something because now it's making a really weird sound. And that makes me so sad. A few moments later. Okay, so let me fill you guys in on what's happening. I pulled out my old drill, but I just broke it. Something was wrong with this one too. And I thought I could fix it by pulling it apart like a pen. I thought it would be super easy to put back together, but then I kept dropping parts and I don't know how to put it back together. It's just not going well right now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to use my normal drill, but just with it being super loud. These two steps are done super gently because we do not wanna damage the natural nail. When you're doing your nails, once you add that primer or base coat, you really don't want to touch the nail anymore. And doing nails on yourself, you would have a hard time putting these on without touching your nails. So that's why I do it now. So a form just peels off of the back like that. Here's the form and here is the little placeholder for where your finger goes. When it comes to this, you can either choose to use it or not use it. If you choose to not use it, you can just toss it or leave it on the sticker. If you choose to use it, you can place it on the back of the sticker right here above the hole and that will add some structure and some stiffness so that it's a little bit stronger. So with the form, what you would do, you would place your finger in here, you would fold the sides down and then you would do all your prepping and priming and build the nail on top of this. Later on, this would get peeled right off and you would have the nail left. When it comes to applying these, you wanna make sure you do it the right way because this is the foundation of your nail. These are the most standard forms that come in a poly gel kit if you get one. So when I use a form, first I like to round it first. So I like to make sure that it's going to fit nicely, especially with this added structure on the back. I like to roll it to already give it that shape. You can choose to rip this right here too. I like to hold the edge, place my finger inside, and scoot it all the way down. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. There's some grids on here. I wanna make sure that the center line is in the center of my nail. Now that it's straight, I'm getting ready to press these two stickies together. But before I do that, I wanna make sure, I'm not sure if my camera will focus. Wait, right there. I wanna make sure that there's no hole or gap in between the form and my nail. So I'm just checking for that. And once I see that that's fine and that it's nice and straight and centered, I'm going to push these two tabs together. First, I start with a little pinch. I'm just gonna perfect it before I press it even more. And what I like to do is take the sides and pinch in right here to make sure that it is sticking to the sides of my finger as well. It's really important that where your nail starts to extend off of your skin, if your nails are long enough, that the form is deep in that pocket. And I'm making sure that there's no gap because that can cause breaking. These you can just fold down so they don't get in the way. And you just want to make sure it's nice and snug as well. And I have my form one. 
This is something you can do to all your nails at once or one at a time. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on my thumb. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my nails. So I'm using my Model 1's dehydrator. You can also use alcohol to dehydrate. This is my Young Nails Protein Bond. I'm gonna use this to prime. And I'm going to base coat with McCart base coat. I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. All right, so it's all cured. Something I wanna mention is be careful putting this in the lamp and just doing stuff with your hands because you don't wanna knock this off. This can easily just pop off and you don't wanna do that because you just spent time making it perfect. So just be careful and be gentle. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the poly gel. So this is the Gershon 005 color. It's like a really pretty pink. If you've seen my video where I teach you how to build an apex, I use the two bead method. I also use the two bead method anytime I'm doing a nail fully covered in one color. And the two bead method is first you do a tip bead and then you do a cuticle and apex bead. So because we don't have a tip right here, we have to form it on top of the paper form. We are going to do a tip bead first. So I'm going to take some product out gonna apply it on my nail just because it's a lot easier to press down on my nail than the paper form. The paper form will probably slip and slide around. I have my slip solution and my McCart brush right here. I'm going to go ahead and create my tip bead. I'm pressing the bead from side to side to cover up my sidewalls. It's super important that you bring the product all the way out to the sidewall. If it doesn't fully reach the sidewall, that will leave some weakness in the structure and the nails would break. And when you're doing this, you also don't want the product to touch your skin. That's why it's super important that the form comes all the way down and reaches where your nail starts to lift off your finger. Now that I have that done, I'm going to press my bead up here and I'm going to start giving it the shape that I want. I think I'm gonna go for like a tapered square look. To shape it up, I'm just pressing the sides and pulling it in. I'm going to flatten it and push it in to fix the shape. I actually wanna do a shorter set tonight. The shaping does not have to be perfect because at the end you are going to shape. It's just the closer to perfect you get your shaping now, the less filing you have to do later. If you want to smooth this into the natural nail, you can, just using backward strokes. Okay, so I'm getting ready to cure this. I'm just checking all the sidewalls, especially where it's meeting my nail. Make sure that nothing's on the skin and that it's reaching all the way to my sidewall. So here's what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I just gave it a 30 second cure and now we're going to move on to the cuticle bead which is the bead where we will also form our apex. If you've seen my apex video, I'm going to do the exact same method, which is place the bead where you need the highest point of your nail to be. You're gonna bring the outside of the bead in those areas that don't have any product. So your cuticle and your sidewalls. Just bring product there. You don't necessarily have to smooth it out just yet but when we're ready to, we'll have the product nearby. So right now, I still have a lot of height in that bead, but as you see, I'm just going to smooth that ledge over. That's a pretty high apex for how short my nails are. Just pat it down a little bit more. All the excess, I'm just going to wipe away. My apex is pretty much formed. I'm just fixing some streaks. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of slip solution and I'm gonna start working on my cuticle. Just patting down that product and making sure that it's nice and thin. Make sure nothing's touching the skin, but also make sure that it's coming all the way over to my sidewalls and meeting and flushing in with that tip bead. And at the end, my little trick is to always right before I'm getting ready to cure slide my spatula in between the product and my nail make sure nothing's touching the skin it leaves a perfect size gap so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this now once you are done you can pinch this and it just comes right off 
and leaves you with your nail. Now you have to be careful using colored poly gel like this because as you can see, light wasn't able to get all the way through to the underneath of the nail and now it's not fully cured. It's not too big of a deal, it's just something to know about. So what I'm going to do is just fix up the inside. I'm gonna place my hand in the lamp, the underside facing the light so that it can cure the bottom side. I'm gonna go ahead and do this hand off camera and then we will go into filing. First thing I'm gonna do is reshape my nails getting more of a coffin shape with my 8080 grit hand file. I'm gonna use my Key Era Sky Fine Safety Drill Bit and I'm going to get around my cuticle and I'm just going to smooth up the nail. I'm gonna do that off camera. I have my nails all filed, all shaped, all buffed and washed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the design. I'm gonna do a little bit of hand drawing. Nothing crazy, this is gonna be a super simple look. I have some red gel polish from Model Ones and I just have a nail art brush. Oh, it's all wonky. I'm going to put like an X right here, an O. All right, you guys, so here is the finished product. It's looking super cute. This is a more subtle Valentine's Day set, but I love the way that it turned out. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.